Hello friends, you're on Tip Top Photo Channel and today I'm going to show you how to make fog with Photoshop and epic entry. Well, the fog. It is really an amazing tool that we use very, very often in our post-processing. Let me show you some examples of the photos with fog and what it can do. First of all, fog helps to emphasize your main object on the photo. On this picture you can perfectly see that we are hiding all the needed details from the background with the help of fog. And it helps us to make our viewers pay less attention to our saturated, over-detailed backgrounds. It separates main object from the background. Let's see another photo that we did during our workshop in Zurich. And again, as you can see, we hide all unneeded details, all those people, pillars and separated our models from the background. And next photo. Again, oversaturated and over detailed background is hide. And here fog helps us to create tonal perspective that helps our viewer to feel depth of the shooting location. Also, fog helps to add some fairy tale and fantastic look to this photo. Ok, here is the photo that we selected to show you how to create fog with Photoshop. This wedding photo was made during the workshop in Denmark on amazing Morse Island. By the way, please note, not every photo is good to use for the fog. It depends on many conditions and first of all on your artistic look. Today I will show you how to draw fog with brush tool. Let's create new layer, take the brush tool in normal mode with soft edges and put flow around 30%. Starting to draw our fog. Also, we can use fill or opacity to change density of the fog. So, we can see the fog now on our photo, but we don't need it everywhere. On the second stage, we need to hide it under the mask. Create the mask and hide all unneeded details of the fog. Don't forget to put flow on the maximum. We're doing it really carefully, so let's speed up for not to waste your time. Well, the fog is painted. As you can see, our models became more contrast. They are on the top plan of the image, and we separated them from oversaturated background. Next, I will add some more details for the fog with the smoke brush. Let's take a smoke brush, put flow around 100%, and on a new layer, we add new fog details where we want and where it will look good. If we made too much details, we can always use masks to hide some parts of it. I am using simple brush with the soft edges and flow around 30% to hide them. And again, I want to add some fog on shadows for it to flow over the ground. So I am taking the smoke brush and paint new details on ground shadows. But please remember that in natural conditions fog is patchy, so we are adding different density to it on the photo. Ok, let's merge our fog layers. We can see that fog creates some mystery, some fairy tale look and models are separated from the background. And here is the end result with complete post-processing of this photo. There are many, many ways of how to create and to draw fog in Photoshop with layers, plugins and brushes. Also, you can add color to a fog, transform it and make it more perfect for your creative ideas. If this tutorial was helpful for you, please like it, comment it and share. Don't forget to subscribe to Tip Top Photo Channel. With big love from Odessa, bye-bye!